Hey guys, it's Nadine, your gal about town. I am here at the farmer's market at Big Bunnies. And I have t I took a walk around. Um, I think I interviewed everybody, at least everybody who was at their booth as I walked by. But there are some great vendors here. If you didn't get a chance to check it out today, you definitely want to come back. Um, come show them some love. There's some great products. Handmade soaps, uh, handmade bath bombs. Uh, you know, we've got Zach here from the micro farm with his seedlings that are growing. Are they called seedlings at this point? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, cakes, all kinds of good stuff. So when you get a chance, come on down. It's every Saturday. Um, some of the vendors are going to be here every week. Some will be here every other week. But just come on down, see who's here, see who might show up next time. There might be somebody new. And have a great time. This is a great thing in Southbridge. There's a ton of vendors here. As you can see behind me, we've got all the tents set up. If you handcraft product, you want to go see Renata at Big Bunny. She manages the um, she manages this farmers market. So if you have handcrafted products and you want to rent a space, the space itself is only ten dollars. Um, and then you you know bring your own table, bring your own tent if you want to bring a tent, bring your own chairs. But it's only ten dollars for a spot and. Uh, as long as you've got something that's sort of handmade, then you should be all set. But talk to Renata because she's in charge of that and she can get you set up. All right, guys. Uh, enjoy your day and enjoy these videos. All right, everybody. So I made it to the farmer's market at Big Bunny. And I am here today with Dan from Country Corner. And he has some amazing birdhouses here that I think are incredible. Um, so Dan, tell us a little bit about you, when you started. I started building uh, birdhouses about five years ago. I'm a retired uh, union carpenter. And to keep myself busy, I started building birdhouses. And then I started selling them in the yard. And then somebody told me to go here, go there. <laughs> Next thing I know, I was going everywhere. That's right? awesome. And I, where do you get all the wood for these? Is it like from your yard? It's recycled wood. Excellent. 90, probably 70% of it comes out of pallets. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. So awesome. I'm not taking trees out, I'm recycling. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So what are some of your favorite pieces you have here? The, uh, the tall one, I, that's a sparrow house. That's gorgeous. And, and my newest creation is the log cabin and the one right next to it, chalet. Those are for the fancy birds, I mean, right? Like the chalet. Yeah. <laughs> but they never pay the rent. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> right? They just show up, take the yeah. food, and then they leave. Yeah. Awesome. So what are your price ranges? They range, uh, the cheapest one is $20, and the most expensive one is 50 Wow, not bad at all. For handmade work, you can't beat it. They're beautiful. You guys, look at how cute this little chair is with the flower pot in it. They're so cute. And this is the first time you've been at the farmer's market? I come here every year. This is my third year. Third year. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, guys, come down and see Dan. Um, like this work, your work is really amazing. I do love it. Thank it's you very awesome. Much. So come on down and see him. We're going to promote this. And uh, if you happen to find out about him because of my video, just tell him that the gal about town sent you so that we know that people are watching. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Dude. Okay, so moving on down the line at the farmer's market, now we're here with Terry Colignese, um, who has awesome stamping supplies, it looks like, and is it card making too that you're doing? I, I did a lot of card making, and as we're downsizing, and um, it's time to shed some of the extra supplies, <laughs> I probably have as much at home. Oh no. But, um, it's price to sell, and I love to talk to people about crafts and stuff. Oh cool. So. Yeah, look at all these, like, I mean, you seriously have, like, every stamp you can imagine here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's incredible. Pretty much. See, this is a good idea. I have stuff I'm trying to get rid of, too, because I'm trying to downsize. I yep. should just set up a table and be like, exactly. take, get my stuff. Yeah. How I fun. Have no commitment. Comes on Saturday, $10, yeah. with a table and a canopy if you have it. And, uh, oh, nice. So it's only $10 to set up here. If you bring, you have to bring your own stuff, but it's only $10 for a spot. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Worth it. That is worth it. Gee, I seriously might do that one of these Saturdays because I'm like, I don't have enough stuff for a yard sale, right. but I got enough to put on a table. Right. And this actually gets more traffic than a yard sale. Exactly. It's all in one spot. Awesome. Well, it was great seeing you again. Thanks for chatting with me. I'll see you later. Thanks, ladies. Thanks for coming.
Absolutely. Look at the beautiful flowers too, guys. These are gorgeous. There we go. All right, guys, now we are here with my very dear friend, Tammy. Um, we've known each other for only five or six years because we're young. We met like a few years ago in junior high and you know, that's all. Um, and she has some awesome products here. Her company is all about oils. And so she's gonna tell us about the products she has. So what have you got going on, Tammy? So all of these products are made with pure essential oils. Um, so some of the products we have are sugar scrubs, um, they're moisturizing sugar scrubs, so they exfoliate your skin and moisturize at the same time. Some body butters, um, bug and tick repellent, which is really good at this time of year. Another great product is the cooling spray. Um, a few um, sprays of this on the back of your neck and wrist. It's like instant air conditioning. Oh, we like that. Setting spray that's great after you put your makeup on, helps it set it in place. And these are roller blends for different things. We have uh, tummy tamer, uh, headache, tension reliever, and a seasonal support. And also some bath bombs. Gotta love the bath bombs. Yes, bath bombs. Now look at, these prices are amazing, you guys. $3 each yes. for the little bath bombs. Yes. Like, that's... Eight dollars for the roller balls. You know, setting spray is six dollars. Where are you going to go and find a makeup setting spray for six dollars? I can tell you, I have a makeup setting spray that I bought a while ago, and it was way more than six dollars. <laughs> way too much more. So this is incredible. Um, Even beard oil for the guys. Oh, nice. So if your men have those beards, you can uh, get the beard oil. And then this a couple times a year, I run make and take it classes where I teach about essential oil safety. Oh, nice. And we actually make a couple products to get to take. Oh, that's awesome. And I know you have a Facebook page. It's all about yeah, oils. Facebook page and a business card. So I don't know. All right. Do, so, yeah, you know what? Well, you know what? I'll even take this. I'll take a picture of it and I'll post it on the page. Awesome. So, because otherwise, I, yeah, I can't. Never mind. I can't focus on it. <laughs> that's fine. I'm out in the sunshine. I'm like, I don't know what I'm seeing. All right. Well, thank you for talking with me. It was good seeing you, too. Guys, come see Tammy. She's awesome. So here we have, um, this is Zachary with Mustard Seed Micro Farm. I'm trying to talk quietly because he's talking to a customer right now. Um, let's see if we can listen in. Really? Would you like a bag for that? Uh, no, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I'd say probably by mid July you might have a party after that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that really good. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Have a good one. Thank you. Well, Zach, that was awesome. Look at that. I start recording and you had a sale, so I think I'm good luck for you. Right, great. <laughs> so tell us what inspired you and just tell us whatever you want to share about your, your farm and what's well, going on here. Mustard Seed Micro Farm started in my backyard as a way to feed my growing family. I'm married. I've got four kids, so I spend a lot on food, so I wanted to give them good, healthy food. And then it just kind of took off from there. and. Now we have a full-blown micro farm in my backyard. So. That's awesome. Yeah, it's going really good. Um, the end of last year, we've, we became certified naturally grown. Nice. Which means we don't use any chemicals or anything synthetic. Everything is completely, completely natural. We start everything from seed. We have our own greenhouse, our own nursery. And um, we operate a small CSA, and we're here at the farmer's market. Excellent. Will you be here every week? Uh, just about. There's going to be a couple weeks in June that I won't be here, but so after for that, July, we'll, we'll start having crops rolling in in July. I'll awesome. be here every week. All right, and people can find you on Facebook. Facebook, yep. Yeah. Um, they can go to mustardseedmicrofarm.com is our, our website. Uh, mustardseedmicrofarm at gmail.com. This is, this is my assistant, Olivia, holding up our car. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Fiercely local, fiercely independent, locally grown right here in Stir right here in Southbridge. Awesome. So yeah, come on down, check us out. All right, great. And right. so I took some pictures of the plants, but you guys can see he's got a little bit of everything here. So, you know, all kinds of tomatoes, 
And then as you come around, there's some butternut squash, some rosemary, uh, parsley, thyme. Ooh, dill. I love dill. That's one of my faves. But you can see some mint, um, some spearmint. So all kinds of good stuff. So yeah, come on down. Check them out. Check out um, the Facebook page. And uh, thank you so much, Zach, for speaking with us. I appreciate it. Again, Great right. meeting you day. finally. Yes. <laughs> all right. See ya. All right. See ya. Okay, and now here we are at Big Bang Designs with Mary and her awesome tie-dye collection of the cutest things. I have to show you this first because, hello, look at the little onesie. This little baby outfit is adorable. I love that. So, Mary, how long have you been doing tie-dye? What made you decide to start? Oh, my goodness. We've been selling them, let's say, 10 years. Oh, wow, 10 years. Long time. Are you always at the farmer's market? Yeah, every Saturday. Oh, cool. Like, here, I say we. Right. <laughs> and by we, you mean you. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, do you do custom orders or do you just come with what you have? I would, yeah. You would? Yep, and I'm on Facebook. I don't sell on Facebook, but I'm there. Someone can send me a message. And it would be under Big Bang Designs? Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. And so, yeah, if somebody wanted something, we awesome. could talk about it. Oh, that's cool. And I mean, you pretty much can, you can tie-dye pretty much anything, right? It has to be 100% cotton. has to be 100% cotton. Yep. Okay. Polyester and stuff, it will just wash right out. So that's not going to work. But if you had like a cotton tote bag. Yep. Yeah. cases, sheets, yep. Okay, so as long as it's 100% cotton. Bandanas, yep. Oh yeah, the bandana. The bandana. That's right. I saw um, the little girl from the Micro Seed Farm. She's got yeah, one of your bandanas. Yeah. She corrected me. I said, oh, I like your scarf. And she said, no, it's a bandana. I said, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is cool. All right. And I mean, your prices are really not bad at all. Yeah, well, I think, what, what, what would I spend? <laughs> right, exactly. What would what you be willing I to afford? spend? <laughs> what can I afford if I'm out at a farmer's I market? Love you a lot. That's awesome. That's incredible. And you obviously are doing something right because you've been doing it for 10 years. So, yeah. Yeah, well, we that. When uh, my son was in, was in Cub Scouts and we did shirts, we did the Cub Scout pack one time, and this was one of those shirts. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Well, um, thank you very much. We'll send people your way. Right. I'll post it on Facebook and I'll find you. Thanks a lot. All right. All right. So now we're here with Lauren and Dennis, and they have some awesome handmade soaps and some um, decor. Uh, what do you call that with the. They are engraved, but you do it with that. What's that? It's a, a you, rotor. Okay, with a rotor. Yep. Sorry, I don't, I don't have words <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> you know that thing you use. So, anyways, um, so guys, tell us a little bit about oh, yeah, what you're doing, when you got started, how you got started, and why you're here. Um, so, I, uh, I learned how to engrave um, about ten years ago. I was working for a company doing it full time. Uh, I love doing it, so I just do it in my spare time now. And I have an Etsy store. It's uh, Etsy.com forward slash store forward slash Denny Crafty. <laughs> All one word, Denny Crafty. Um, and I, I, I take custom requests and all sorts of stuff. It's, it's fun. Nice. Where do you get the wood? Um, I use I old pallets I pick up on the side of the road. Oh, nice. Uh, recycled furniture, things like that. Oh, cool. I yeah. love this. So you're the second one today who said that you're doing it with recycled wood. So yeah. I love that. Awesome. All right. And tell us about the soaps. Simple soaps. I started doing it. Um, for Christmas gifts, and then just really enjoyed it, and then, so just took off with it from there. And they're all natural with just essential oils. Um, some have shea butter, some have double butter. Um, nice, so super moisturizing. Yes. Besides yes. smelling nice, and look at yep. they're so cool because you've got like actual like like solid ingredients in. Yep. Some have um, actual orange and lemon and lime peels. Some have. That's awesome. Um, oatmeal. Lavender, um, chamomile 
petals. Oh, how fun is that? That's yep. it. So these make great gifts yep. or just for yourself, just yep. because you want to treat yourself to something lovely. Yep. Awesome. And do you guys have a business card or? I have one there. Oh, okay. So I'm collecting business cards, so we're going to show a picture of it, but I'm going to post all the pictures of business cards later too. Um, and what about, do you have a Facebook page or do you have an Etsy shop? I do have an Etsy um, shop. It's the same thing. Um, Etsy.com forward slash store forward slash simple soaps with a Z at the end. Okay, simple soaps. <laughs> Excellent. All right, guys. And will you be here every weekend? If not every weekend, probably at least every other. Yeah, at least every other. So you'll definitely be back. Yes, definitely be back. All right, so come on down and check it out. Like I said, awesome products. I love some of these signs. They're really cute. So great gifts if you've got somebody who's, you know, it's their birthday or if they just bought a new house to get them a welcome sign. Um, and then, of course, the soaps are amazing as well. So, all right, guys, thank you so thank much. You. It was great talking with you. Thank See you. ya. Oops. All right, so now we're here with Melissa of Melissa Flaherty Cakes. Um, it's so funny, I'm running to so many people. So I went to school with Tammy, I, you know, a couple other people I interviewed I already knew and then I used to live next door to Melissa. So <laughs> it's great seeing you again. You're too neat. Thank you. So tell us what's going on here. When did you start baking and why? Well, I actually started in 2015. That was the year I was trying to get married and actually did. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> we like when a plan comes together. <laughs> so it was made with wedding planning and I was a DIY crafter and had to do everything for the wedding and ran out of projects, so I started decorating cakes. So I went um, to Michael's and they had all of the classes there to learn how to decorate. I never touched or did anything until 2015. And then it just kind of took off from there. I've always been an artist. I went to school for art, I uh, minored in art in college. So it was my, my paint, my palette, all in one. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> That's incredible. And so do you, so you do like do you do for parties? Do you do everything? Anything? Bridal cakes? I do, yes. So this year is the first year I'm doing the farmers market. So cool. I just got my license from the town of Southbridge. Oh nice. Um, so I'm a residential public kitchen. Um, so farmers market for the first year of this year. That way I can get my name out. And party cakes, so birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, anything you can think of, I will gladly help. Excellent. <laughs> and as you guys can see, she does cupcakes, she does cookies. Like, these are beautiful. They're gorgeous. So yeah, guys, definitely come and check her out. Are you planning on being here um, every week for the farmer's market this summer? So every week, I just have two weeks in September that I definitely can't make it. Okay. But every other week, I do have plans to be here. Excellent. So I'm going to have a new menu offering every single week. Oh, so fun. A little bit of variety. Right? So come every week and check out what she has. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, and are these samples? Yes. Vanilla with vanilla buttercream. All right, guys. I'll be taking a sample so I can try that, and I'll give you my update. Um, this is cool, too. I like that you have the ingredients and allergen information right here. So if you have allergies, she's got all the information right here. And then, of course, I grabbed one of her business cards, so I will be posting that as well. And she accepts cash, checks, and she's got the Foursquare thing, so you can do credit cards as well. All right, Melissa, thank you so much. Thank you. Great see you again. Good luck. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> So here is my little, where's my camera? <laughs> I'm not used to holding it this way when I do this. So here's my little cake shot for Melissa. It's vanilla cake with vanilla buttercream frosting. So let's hope I like it because we're, I'm recording this. <laughs> At least it's not live. <laughs> oh my God. This is seriously the best. This is the best buttercream. <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm not just saying that because I could easily just be like, I don't like it and not ever show this. <laughs> I do, I love it. Mm. Guys, come check her out. She's awesome. All right, I gotta clean my fingers. <laughs>